Hello everyone, Chosen7x7 here with another tasty treat from my bag of treats just for you. I've been looking closely at the uh, Curtis F3 model folders and the comparison came to mind of that of the Curtis and the Hendra XM24. Both are fantastic blades. Uh, the Hendra Natch has been around a lot longer than the Curtis uh, F3 models. So it's got kind of a reputation that uh, is hard to compete with at this time. But let's take a close look if you're considering buying either one of these blades. Let's take a close look. They're both roughly in the same price range depending on where you buy it from, who you buy it from, and how anxious they are to sell it. But let's just take a quick glance at them. Tell me what you think. I'm anxious to hear. First off, we have the Curtis F3 tactical folder. This blade has an overall length of 8.8 .8 inches. The blade itself is an N690 steel. It has bronze titanium scales both sides beautiful piece the blade itself is four inches isn't that nice open pillar construction nice jumping there on the ramp beautiful blade again these this blade runs around 800 bucks depending again on where you buy it and who you get it from and how anxious they are to sell it. Now the Hinderer XM24. This is the camo edition. Flat grind. Open pillar construction. Titanium standoffs. Titanium lock side. S35 VN steel. This too has a blade length of 4 inches. However, the overall is 9.1 inches. Blade steel again is S35VN. Flat grind. Again, both of these blades run roughly in the same price range. However, again, it depends on where you get it and who you get it from. So what do you think would be your first choice? Would you go with the tried and proven Hinder XM24? Very good. Or would you try the new Curtis F3? Oh, by the way, the Curtis has the IKBS bearing system, which makes it a little smoother for deployment and closing. Mm -hmm. The blade thickness, let me give you a side-by-side -side comparison just so you'll see the blade thickness on these piglets. Oops. Come on pigs, sit up. Well, nevertheless, hopefully you can make that out. The F3 and the, and the Hinderer XM24. Uh, the thickness is almost the same. The Hinderer has it by a fraction or two of an inch. Again, it depends on what you intend to use these blades for, as well as the purpose in which you're carrying them at the time, whether it's dinner or camping or what have you. The weight on the F3 is actually 6.1 ounces, whereas the Hinderer is a big hefty 7.8 ounces, folks. You got a load in your pocket, but it can come in handy in the right situation. One thing I do not like about the F3 is that it's full titanium slabs. Titanium slabs, you get liquid on them, and you're in a tactical situation, or you're just using it for camping, easily to slip out of your hand. Something to consider any liquid water rain snow blood you name it again so tell me what you think about 
the Curtis F3 4 inch versus the Hendera XM24. But wait, let me throw a monkey wrench into this equation. If you can't afford either of these piglets, try this piglet. The ZT0561, the Baby Hinderer. Open pillar construction, titanium frame lock, LMAX steel. Oh yeah, by the way, the blade, the blade length is 3.75 inches. It has an overall of 8.75 inches with a weight of 5.9 ounces and a price tag of roughly 250 bucks or less depending on where you get it. So take a, take a minute, think about these three blades and based on your budget or your preference, tell the chosen one what you think. In the meantime, this is your good friend, giving you a shout out from the pig pen. Peace.